Okay, so um, this is my self-assessment, and I'm just going to read the numbers so you know exactly where I'm starting, like on the questions. So for number one, my answer was, uh, some examples of intersectionality in my life are like my friends being racially discriminated or like me uh, believing in female empowerment. Uh, like I believe in girls fighting for their rights and like girl power, um, but I... Um, not only do I like want r women's rights, but I want like equality for everyone in general. And then uh, my experience with the intersectionality in my own life has like made me really open-minded to the world and like other people. And uh, it's really shaped like who I am and let me develop my own uh, opinions on like my parents or anybody else influencing me. And um, number two, I said uh, these experiences like would have been different for me if I if I experience racial discrimination like firsthand, um, I know my friends have, but I can't relate that way because I haven't been racially discriminated, but I have been gender discriminated. Like uh, if I ever like was walking down the street and got cat called or like just boys being disgusting and like, you know, saying things they shouldn't about women or like other things like that, which ties into the next question. So I like was talking about how my gender fits into the binary. Like men believe that they are superior to women, and they should be category, and that like women are categories weak or just a housewife and supposed to stay at home and do all of the chores and things. But I'm neither of those. Uh, to me, it's like really important that a woman has her own money to like get up and walk away from whatever or do what she wants to do. And I said uh, my experiences have like really shaped me into wanting that for my life like I don't want to sit at home I want to have my own money and uh, my own degree to like do what I want and never have to rely on somebody else I want to do it myself before I rely or like have a relationship with a man I don't want to like rely on a man it's important to me to do it myself um so uh, I've definitely been like taunted from men I have the stigmas about women and I think that's what I can relate to my binary because it does fit in there and the entire like men's perception of women fits into my binary. Um, I undermine most of it because I'm not gonna listen to people who don't know me or who aren't even my gender. That's why it's really important to me to get my own degree and make my own money. Um, so I just feel like that is really what tears society apart and uh, brings women's empowerment down and that really hurts. And um, it's 2018 and I don't know why we haven't moved on from that and just let it go. Like if you wanna be who you wanna be, so. Um, and you should respect women. I don't know why it's that hard. <laughs> okay, so um, um, for number four, this was like got more personal for me. Uh, we talk, or we, it says like which topic in the class was named most of you. I said it, like wasn't there necessarily a whole topic, but like a big discussion we had recently was the one about consent, and it really resonated with me because I know sexual assault survivors and. Um, to know someone that went through that like really hurts and it reminds me of, like how important it is to educate people with consent and um, I said uh, it's really like I've learned not or like more ways that consent is not given than what people think is consent um, it really makes me like think that more people need to hear this like it's really simple, but the lines can be blurred, so it's easy to understand, but like when someone breaks it down to you, like the consent tea, that should be shown more often because it's so easy to like see the difference now that it breaks it down for you, and this is like really relevant in our society today. And um, going on to the last one, I agreed with the number three. Um, it talked about like which ways in your social life can you make like better decisions or or not social life, I wrote that, but like decisions in your life. And I said I need to change my social life because I need to make more ethical decisions when it comes to school. I like really know what I want to do and am motivated with my life, but I need to just be more responsible. Um, I said I should trade my social time for more city time and that's ethical and meaningful to me because it will up my grades and my responsibility and it'll help me get into school to do what I want.